Hi guys, today I want to show you my bridge build. This is the same one I used in our little uh, competition we had on Discord for who can come up with the wackiest uh, build for a jump. Yeah, um, I want to show you quickly what it looks like. So as you know, the spawns are down here. Coming up this uh, ramp to the left, you want to put in two uh, wall launches. These are three impact, two reload and healing. Above that, two floors, two cones, surrounded by one, two, three, four walls. Place a floor piece here. And then you can just pause the video to have a look at the rest of the block off here. Very simple, no cones in between, no flaws. Okay, and coming up this right side. First thing you'd want to do is shift. There's two lava bombs up, up here, one on the left and one on the right. To shift this lava bomb on the left, you put in these two floors and behind that, there's three, three floors edited in this direction. Do that first and then wait for the lava bomb to hit here and then you know you've done it correctly. Then start building all the other structures. Uh, if you start building the other structures, there's a risk that the lava, lava bomb will destroy them. So that's the first one. The second lava bomb, you want to come to this section. So it's where this natural ramp is. You want to go one from the second tile, put down a tile, and then behind that put down another, another tile. These two floor pieces will shift the lava bomb here. And then you can commence, like I said, with the other other walls and stuff. So yeah, I've put in a broadside. Uh, any perks will do because a baby husk or a blaster comes here. This side is a two impact, two reload healing wall launcher. Same here. And here is a zero impact a wall launcher. I've got uh, roof pieces, two walls, and then a roof piece again. And then behind this is a little sandwich. Walls and the cone facing the northeast. And here this cones. You can copy the direction it's facing. Behind that four floors and four cones and the middle two cones I've got gas traps because sometimes it's phasing through here and then behind that more block off this is made up of one two three four five walls and cones all facing the north except for this corner one underneath that is Underneath that there's one, two, three, three edited floors and a full floor. No floor at this end. And then behind that, again, five walls and all cones facing the north and no floors. Oh, I have her. Uh, I think this was from my old build. I need to take these dots out. You don't need them at all. Okay, you'll need the dots here. Okay, and to the left of this section, I've got floor, cone, and another cone here facing the northwest and a floor as well. 
Okay, then coming around this corner, the launches for the sky bridge. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five by five impact. And this is a healing dynamo. Uh, this is if something lands or does or drops down from the from the sky bridge, and if they land here, uh, to prevent them from cutting or missing this launcher, that's why I've got this wall and dynamo here. So you put in your launchers, your five walls. Sorry, four walls. This is a smasher wall light, five impact to hit the smasher down here. Uh, but even if the smasher goes up to the amp, it makes no difference. So uh, behind that, a dart, cone, and yeah, again for phasing, I've got broadsides and uh, spike uh, darts. Sorry. Edited uh, quarter piece around this corner. This is a three impact to reload, hitting them down and a ceiling zapper. Zero, uh, sorry, one impact launcher. It's a little timeout box with the uh, darts, dynamos, and gas. And then coming up this ramp, two dynamos, darts, ceiling electric. Oh yes, and there's a ceiling electric here as well. And then retractables and a zapper as well. So the amp design, I've got these four edited walls and then the this is this little uh, edited walls here uh, joined to this part to hold up the amp design. What will happen if you get a mini boss and smasher? It will just smashers will just run into the amp or run past this way, end up here. Some sometimes the smasher falls down here, and the mini boss will just walk around the amp. Uh, doing nothing will not even break these walls so yeah I've got uh, these anti airs three anti airs sometimes if four lobbers and uh, if a flinger gets a shot in uh, these anti airs will take care of it then uh, the lobber shield Starting here, you want to go two tiles up, then two edited cones, another edited cone that direction, and then so from here you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen tiles across. Yes, it's that big and it's all because of flingers. So, from that 13 tiles, the first one, two, three, four, five, five uh, tiles, it's two, two tiles. And remember to use uh, stairs here because of uh, phasing. Blasters sometimes phase through. So make sure these one, two, three, four pieces are stair pieces. So yeah, nothing here and two floor pieces here. And then yeah, two rows here and then floor pieces as well. And this is one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, so that's your flinger shield, lobber shield. Let me show you the, the sky bridge. 
sky bridge uh, everything in line with your floor launches below so five tiles five floors and five walls five roof pieces and then you want to come around put a two impact launcher here and two roof tiles going out here so yeah this is your last launcher you want to come one tile out and then you want to drop down three tiles put in a all jura tarpet with healing if you have that and then a one impact launcher here this launcher is going to shoot off everything into the geyser there at put put at. So that's your first drop down. Second drop down, you want to come down here and drop down another three tiles. Floor piece, no traps on this. And then what will happen is the husks will land right here. So if they land here, we've got a zero impact launcher here to hit them down. And then this little tunnel is where you just kill off anything that gets immune. And yeah, so I've got uh, floor spikes, broadsides, dynamos. Uh, you guys can just go on a frenzy with the killing traps here. Doesn't really matter. So coming up here. You want to also put in a zero impact, zero impact uh, wall launcher, and then at the geyser, another zero impact launcher floor spikes. And this is what I've done around the geyser. Start here with a floor piece, then put a wall, another roof, and another wall, then uh, two edited walls. And then another edited wall and yes three edited walls here so basically everything will get hit from that launcher up there into this into this geyser and then i just got sound walls and uh, i've put in these sound walls uh, it's not really necessary, uh, but I like to see them dancing as they're flying up and down. Um, and yeah, I've put in these walls because most of them, sometimes they get stuck standing on these walls. And uh, yeah, the sound walls um, will not let them to despawn. So yeah, that's the main reason I have these sound walls. And then... Uh, yeah, and it's all, uh... <laughs> this is how good the, the geyser is, it's very hard to get out. So yes, so this is what it looks like at the bottom, three sound walls, another three walls, four walls. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, flingers will come They'll get hit into the geyser if they don't they'll come up walk around here If they don't get hit into the geyser, they will walk and just go into Into the tunnel and get killed. Oh Yes, and this little uh, This little uh, Wall and uh, floor in fact, you don't need a dart here. This is the back part to prevent anything. It's for this launcher here. Yeah. And that's it guys, my bridge build. Uh, I've posted gameplay already under the wacky, wacky ridge uh, competition. And it survives easily wave 22 and uh, even uh, the random waves, wave uh, 5, 16, 26, survives them. Uh, 
I think if you get a 16 and 26, uh, you just may want to watch the Jura on the first launcher. The Jura on the first two launches may go if you get hit more than four waves on your run. Yeah. That's it for now guys. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments if you have any questions. Um, also join our Discord. Uh, a lot of good guys there. A great crowd, good company. Uh, guys uh, will help you uh, if you have any questions and stuff with your endurance. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. But yes, take care for now guys. Bye.